Okay, so I'm going to make this video to help people get onto the MQTT network um, so they can join other people. Um, anyhow, uh, I just want you to know that the only difference here is going to be in my channels. I do not have long fast on this one because uh, I have a private network of these set up and I only want the MQTT on uh, one of my devices that's associated with this Android here. Um, however, it's practically the same. So first of all, in MQTT settings, uh, you're going to want to make sure that it's enabled, obviously, uh, proxy to client that'll use your phone's information to give more uh, precise information. Uh, you don't want to mess with disconnecting it, obviously. Encryption, yes, you can enable. If you know what you're doing, you can enable that. I wouldn't mess with it. Um, and then your map report. Now, here where it says precise location, um, it's going to have to correlate with what you have in your channels. So if you want it precise, um, this is not going to be precise the way I have it set up. So don't worry about it, but you want yours precise. Root topic uh, is going to be MSH slash US. And then you want your uh, default uh, configuration, uh, if I can find it here, to be the same um, here. You don't mess with that. If you have a private server and you know what you're doing, you can do that. I wouldn't suggest uh, using it unless you know what you're doing, though. Now, in channels, this is where it gets uh, tricky, I guess. Um, now, you notice I don't have a long, fast channel. If you want to get on MQTT, you have to have channel zero named long fast, and long fast is going to be all together. So um, here, I'll just show you on the Android. You can even see it on the channel name. It's long fast all ran together. Let's go into radio configuration and channels, and you'll see that, um, well, eventually you'll see if it connects anyway. I have my Rook right here in the MQTT one in the window right there. so. Um, I don't know if it's... Oh, no, it worked. Okay, so long fast. Um, you want that to be uh, spelled just like that. You want the AQ equal equal is the password. Unplink and downlink uh, you're going to uh, have on uh, so you can go back and forth and send information through the the internet, basically. Position, uh, now that's, that's where you have to have it correlate. I have it on low here. So if I go to my MQTT settings... Um, you should see that um, my stuff is not high accuracy. I have map re reporting at 230 meters, which means it'll give a rough estimate of where I'm at within 230 meters. Now, very important, you want to go into LoRa, and you want to make sure that M ignore MQTT is not on. And that really should wrap it up, guys, honestly. You just need to make sure that that channel is named that. And that it's it's set up with the default settings, uh, the AQ equals equals. Um, those are both capital. And then you notice the L is capital and the F is capital, and it's all ran together. That's important. And then, like I said, in MQTT, just use the default settings for the server. And also, like I said before, um, it's pretty much the same in iPhone, honestly. Um, you just have have an extra slider there to adjust the the amount of location proximity on the android you may or may not have that uh that ability where i showed you you can put in the radius um the map reporting radius why i don't know i'm sure they'll implement it but um i hope this helps you guys uh this is how i got on and as you can see if i go to the long fast channel i have tons of different people in here uh, talking with with each other and then my nodes is just lit up one important thing to know is you're going to have an error on your uh, hell tech or whatever device you're using and eventually um, it'll say that there's not enough uh, space basically memory in your node uh, so you might want to come down here every now and then and just do a node db reset and on iphone you can do that by uh whoops maybe here we go. Um, you go into the nodes, find the one you're connected to, and go into that. Oh no, that's reboot. I'm sorry. Hold on. Settings. And device. Settings and device. I'm sorry. And reset node DB. 
right under device there. Anyhow, guys, I hope that helps. You guys have a good day, and thanks for watching.